Welcome to Comfort Habit number two. Have you seen one, two, three, and four of politics run friendships? Then you're going to be here for number five. So, it took me a hot minute to find it. I did find um, this video on Donald Trump's heroic, horrific, heroic, horrific response to the Central Park Five case. And again, this is an old video. But this is for you black people who are voting for Trump. Because, you know, um, maybe you missed it. Maybe you did. I and mean, maybe you didn't miss it and you just don't give a flying shit. But this is uh, three minutes long. Maybe Enjoy it. I felt like they might take us to the back of the precinct and kill us. FYI, there's a documentary about this shit. This is a hugely important story. I wish I could tell you it was unique that five black and Hispanic boys were uh, arrested for a crime they didn't do and sent away for a crime they didn't do. But unfortunately, it's all too common in the United States. And so the Central Park Five has to be emblematic for a lot of other people whose stories aren't told. There was a orange-haired real estate de developer in New York at the time of the Central Park Jogger case who took out full-page ads in all the daily newspapers asking for the return of the death penalty and more police. Of course I hate these people. And let's all hate these people because maybe hate is what we need if we're going to get something done. And he believed that these children should be executed even though, of course, even the return of the death penalty would disqualify the execution of children. It was horrific then, it's horrific to hear it now. And it's more than anger, it's hatred. And I want society to hate them. We should be talking about it, talking to the now men who went through this and always having our ear to the ground to this pernicious racism in our country that exists despite the fact that we know in our hearts that you judge a person by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin. I'm quoting uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. If I was starting off today, I would love to be a well-educated black because I really believe they do have an actual advantage today. That devil wants to kill my son. You gonna take an ad out about killing my son? Now, there's a documentary on that. In this video, it's 2019. Alright? So, now let me break that down for y'all. For those who don't understand why I won't follow this guy. For those who think that my bias has no justification. So if you watch the other video, uh... My fourth video of um, politics, war and friendship, and stuff like that. Ask yourself now, did you watch number four and you're on number five? Does James have merit? Do I have merit to you? I need to know. Because here's that thing. 
if I am to lose every follower I have here on Kung Fu Havoc number two, and maybe a few people on Facebook, and maybe a few people on Instagram, I want to know if you guys think that I have merit. I want to know if you think that I'm just being a dick. Now, giving you evidence at the beginning of this video. How you felt to black people who will later find out we're innocent. In my other video, I brought up the Native American ship from 1993. I brought up the Code Talkers, where he outwardly in front of Native Americans out at Senator Warren as Pocahontas. I brought up everything on Standing Rock. I didn't let you see all of it because you can go view it for yourself. YoungTurks.com. It's three years old, so good luck with that. It took me a while to find this shit. But, you need to let me know if you think that I am wrong for being racist to racist. I mean, I talk to people of color about why are you supporting this racist. They don't remember. This is to Park 7, 5, excuse me. They don't remember the most recent Standing Rock. They don't remember 1993's um, Reservation Casino clusterfuck. But more importantly, y'all seem to turn the eye on the Kung Flu, Chinese virus. The racial shit that flies out of his mouth on a daily basis, y'all don't care. Y'all don't. So I ask you again, you I have merit before you leave my channel or before YouTube gives me another um, reprimand for hate speech. And I was watching YouTube, not once did I say that I hate this guy. I don't hate him. I hate his ways. I hate his moral compass. I hate that he won't um, outwardly admit that he is a racist. Because here's the thing. If I have to respect Donald Trump, then he needs to be honest. But that's just for me. That's just for me. And I would say the same thing to my friends who vote for him. Your voting for him does not change our friendship. And maybe question our moral causes or what we're fighting for. But as far as you not understanding, help me understand why being racist is cool. Help me understand that when he says something about race, y'all all seem to turn a blind eye. That includes his black and Asian followers who clearly have been living under the eight ball. Not behind the eight ball, but under the son of a bitch. No one in history of the world. If I wasn't recording, I would have ate that chip. <sighs> just, just to keep it real. If I wasn't recording, I would have ate that chip. Clean off the floor. <sighs> but, damn it. So you tell me, why in the hell in the world is it ever okay to be racist out in public? How are you all okay with that? You people of color who are following him. If you're Asian and you're following him. If you're black and you're following him. You tell me. When did it become okay? Again, if I wasn't recording, I'd eat that shit. me dead in my face and you tell me when is it okay for someone of color to come out in public and be racist when is it okay for someone who's not of color to come out in public and be racist but here's my thing if you gotta be honest be honest with everybody don't just be honest with your group of people you know I make plenty of videos and I will make another completely 
off this racist video. But this this is important because you guys have 26 more days or so to go vote. I've already voted for Biden. I've already explained to y'all why. Initially, he won the nominee. Period. I wasn't going to vote for that guy. I was voting for Elizabeth Warren. I had it in my heart and soul that when it came up to her, and I had all these women candidates. Okay, so let me drop it for you. We had Kamala Harris, Indian and black. Not my kind of Indian, which is Native American, but her Indians. Her Indians, red dots, flying carpets. My Indians, Native Americans. Feathers, bow and arrows. She's not one of them. She's black, and I'm part black. So that was my toss-up. Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren. I wasn't voting for a male, period. Period. I'm 47. New life, new blood, new change. I'm all about empowerment, and I have sisters. So why not vote for a woman? Because it's never been done before. The same way there's never been a black president, except there's been two. Because the first black president, Bill Clinton. Second black president, Barack Obama. But the truth be told, he's only half black, which is another reason why, you know, it's like, oh, I'm mixed. So second term when he, when he was in, I was like, I might as well go for it. But the first term, no, I voted for Hillary. When she started supporting him, I had no choice but to vote for Obama. When the second term came, I voted for Obama because I wasn't going with the um, Republicans. Now, when I got to uh, this point where we had to vote for Hillary and the red-headed demon stepped troll in charge, I voted for Hillary. When I went to bed, she was ahead. And I woke up. <laughs> he won. I cried about it. I bitched about it. I complained about it. But I also voted. So I have that right to cry about it, bitch about it, and complain about it. And you're probably all thinking, why did you vote for Hillary? You're dumb. You're stupid. And you could be correct. Except for if you read your dictionary. The word dumb means unable to speak. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're stupid. Now the word stupid means un- intellectual. I had to say that slow so that I can actually pronounce it right. It also means that you are not a person of an intelligent standing. Okay, go read your dictionary because it's there's a lot more to that. That's just me putting it nicely or me dumbing it down so did you actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. Now, when it came to the, to the thing, we had Biden, Sanders, Harris, Yang, um, the dude that lives an alternative lifestyle, whose name I can't remember right now. No offense, fella. Um, he was homosexual. I was trying to play nice. And then we had ha uh, Harris, Warren, and um, some other lady. But there was at least three ladies and like five men for the nominee. All right? So I'll be honest. It was either going to be Elizabeth Warren or Andrew Yang. That's it. I was hoping to make history. See, if I got Andrew Yang, I got the first Chinese-American president. If I got Elizabeth Warren, I got the first mixed with Native American president because that would have been historical. And if I would have got Kamala Harris, which wasn't on my brain ticket, then um, I would have got the first Indian black woman. Indian with the dots, not the feathers. So I sit there and I weigh the pros and cons when I got to thinking about my food before I had to vote for Biden. When I got to thinking about the nominee that I want, and I said to myself, you've never had a Chinese guy in charge. That would be fucking awesome. I got a lot of Asian friends. Then I looked at myself again and I said, you've never had anybody remotely close with Native American blood anywhere on the White House. I decided right then and there, even if she's got like that little bit, which is a lot less than what I have, I'm gonna vote for her. I know you see my lights. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to have to make a sixth video.